Casper and Ghostbed, two very popular mattresses, but what are the similarities and what are the differences and which one should you get? Hi, my name is Joe, I'm from Mattress Clarity. That's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about today. We run through the pros and cons of each mattress. What's similar about the mattresses? What's different? Who should get one over the other? By the end of the video, you're gonna have a very good idea if you're gonna wanna get one over the other, so stay tuned. All right, let's talk about what's similar between these two mattresses. Number one, they're both very popular mattresses, come with great customer service. They're actually in a similar price range, not exactly the same price, but in the same general range. Both all foam mattresses, pretty supportive overall, and they do contain a little bit of memory foam in them. All right, so you know about the similarities, but what are the differences? Well, materials differences. The ghost bed's gonna be a little bit thicker. It's 11 inches overall. So it has latex over memory foam, an inch and a half over two inches over a base layer. Casper's a little bit different. It has a latex-like layer on top, an inch and a half, then an inch and a half of memory foam, then a transition layer, then a base layer. It's also zoned, ghost bed is not, so in the middle it's gonna be a little bit firmer underneath your shoulders when you're on your side, it's gonna be a little bit softer. So it's gonna feel a little bit different depending on what your sleeping position is. Overall, the firmness is gonna be a little bit different as well. I would say actually quite different, so the ghost bed is gonna be quite a bit firmer than the Casper is, and I think most people would agree with that. And then just generally the feel is gonna be different, I'm um, just basically because of the firmness, it's gonna be a much firmer feel with the ghost bed. You're gonna sleep on top of it rather than sinking into the Casper a little bit more. So there's definitely some firmness and feel differences here. All right, let's open up the hood of these mattresses and see what the construction is and see what the differences are. Starting with the Casper, on top we have an inch and a half of a pretty soft latex-like layer. It's definitely not latex, but it's latex-like, very responsive. Underneath that we have a layer of memory foam, an inch and a half, then a transition layer of an inch and a half, and then a base layer. The transition layer is zoned, so in the middle it's gonna be a little bit firmer, so, and then underneath your shoulders, on the top it's gonna be a little bit softer. So if you're sleeping on your side, it's gonna feel softer. If you're sleeping on your back or your stomach, is that middle part's gonna kind of hold you up more and be more supportive. So pretty interesting construction overall there. Moving on to the ghost bed, we have 11 inches in total. We have an inch and a half of latex, and then we have two inches of gel memory foam underneath. High density foams involved, so it's gonna be able to support a lot of weight. Then a base layer underneath that. So I would say the big differences are definitely gonna be firmness. Overall, the ghost bed's gonna be much firmer. You're gonna sleep more on top of the ghost bed rather than sinking into the Casper. Um, they're both kind of balanced foam feels overall. It kind of combines memory foam and latex-like qualities, actually latex width with the ghost bed and latex-like qualities with the Casper. And then just because of the zone construction of the Casper, it's gonna feel a little bit different depending on what your sleeping position is. All right, let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the Casper a six out of 10, ghost bed a seven and a half out of 10. I think most people would agree that the ghost bed is definitely a little bit firmer than the Casper is, maybe even more than just a little bit. So the Casper does depend on your sleeping position. It has zone construction. So when you're on your side, it's gonna feel a little bit softer. When you're on your back and stomach, it's gonna feel a little bit firmer, but definitely the ghost bed is firmer overall. The feel is a little bit different. They both have a balanced foam feel that kind of combines latex, latex-like qualities with memory foam-like qualities as well. Um, but the ghost bed, you're gonna feel like you're sleeping more on top of the ghost bed. You feel like you're sleeping more in the Casper, so that's something to note as well. Now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on my back, I feel like the ghost bed is a pretty good match there. Definitely very supportive overall. I would say if you're a lightweight sleeper, it may not be able to sink in enough, but overall, if you're a medium or heavyweight sleeper, it could be a good match for you. Casper is a very good match for me. I would say if you're a lighter, medium weight sleeper, it's gonna be a very good fit. If you're a heavier sleeper, I'd probably go with the ghost bed, but if you're a lightweight sleeper, I would go with the Casper. If you're a medium weight sleeper, either could work for you. Switching on to my side now on the ghost bed, it's definitely much firmer than average, so I would say I do feel a little bit of pressure on my side. On the Casper, it's quite soft and there's pretty good pressure relief, so I prefer the Casper for side sleeping. Switching on to my stomach, on the ghost bed, I feel like it's very supportive, about the right firmness you want for stomach sleeping. On the, on the Casper, even though it has that zone construction, I would say I would probably prefer the ghost bed. It's a little bit firmer, and a little bit more supportive overall. In Mattress Clarity, we really love our pressure map testing. It shows you exactly how well every mattress relieves pressure. I get down on the pressure map, lie down on my back, side, and stomach. What really matters is these side sleeping results show you how well the mattress relieves pressure. See anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. So when we're talking about Ghost Bed and Casper, we'll throw up these side sleeping results here. You can see that there is some red on the Ghost Bed and with the Casper, it probably relieves pressure a little bit better. It is softer, and from my experience, it did relieve pressure, and I think that's confirmed with the pressure map testing. 
Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person want to give my experience with these two mattresses. So today we have the Casper mattress and the Ghost Bed mattress. In terms of firmness, I said the Casper was a 7 out of 10. The Ghost Bed here was close to an 8 out of 10. In terms of sleeping positions, over in the Casper, I'm on my back. Very, very nice. My hips sink in, but not too far. I'm also getting good support from the zone construction on my lumbar area. Very, very nice. On my side, some decent pressure relief from my shoulders and my hips on my stomach a little bit too soft for me over here on the ghost bed on my back also good overall support but I want my hips sinking a little bit more like they done the Casper on my side way too firm for me definitely some firmness in my shoulders and my hips on my stomach a great match so what does that mean I think if you're a larger back sleeper lean towards the Casper larger side sleepers also the Casper larger stomach sleepers definitely the ghost bed if you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're gonna to wanna to consider when looking at a mattress. It's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support's basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off? Now, as far as motion transfer is concerned, I would give Casper the slight advantage. It does a little bit better of a job at isolating motion overall. As far as edge support is concerned, I would give Ghost Bed the advantage. It's a little bit firmer and seems to do a little bit better of a job at kind of preventing that rolling off the bed feeling. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these two mattresses is gonna be the right one for you? All right, starting with the Casper, who should get the Casper? I think side sleepers are gonna find it to be a better fit. It's softer, relieves pressure. The pressure map testing showed it relieves pressure a little bit better, and that was my experience as well. So I would say side sleepers should go with the Casper. I would say combination sleepers as well. Definitely if you sleep on your side at all, just given the zone construction, it's very um, smartly constructed to be good for combination sleepers. Also, if you're just looking for a softer mattress, it's definitely the softer of the two. So if you just want a softer feel overall, go with the Casper. And if you want to sink into the mattress more, you don't sink in a ton, but you definitely do sink in more than you do with the ghost bed. All right, now who should get the ghost bed? Definitely stomach sleepers. It's much firmer and gonna be more supportive overall for if you just sleep on your stomach. I would say heavier back sleepers as well. It's gonna be about the right firmness for you as well. So it'll be very supportive overall. Um, can really support people of heavier weights. Also, if you just want a firmer mattress overall, it definitely is the firmer mattress. And then if you just wanna sleep on top of the mattress rather than sinking into the mattress, this is definitely the way to go. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of the pros and cons, similarities and differences of these mattresses. Hopefully the choice is pretty clear. I think because of the firmness differences, I think the choice should be pretty clear. If it's not for some reason, definitely just leave a comment below. I read every single YouTube comment and reply back. So just leave a comment below. I can even give you a personal recommendation. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of our top picks, simply Google mattress clarity best mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.